17. Note, figure not drawn to scale. It means we can't measure it and try to figure it out that way. We have to do the math. The circle shown has center zero, circumference of 144 pi, okay, and diameters P, R, and Q, S. Okay, so they're telling us these are straight lines and they're going through the center. That's good. The length of arc P, S is twice the length of arc P, Q. I'm going to put some variables in here. So if I call P, Q, X, I know that P, S is twice that long. It is 2, X. What is the length of arc QR, this one? How long is it? Okay. When I have intersecting lines, that means the angles are the same. That is uh, vertical angles or opposite angles theorem. I've heard it both things. What that also means, there's also a related one that says we have a central angle here, that the central angle and the arc are the same degree measure. So if this arc were 40 degrees, then this angle would be 40 degrees and vice versa. Okay, with those two facts in mind, this angle is the same as that angle, and this angle is the same as this arc, then we can translate and say, this arc is the same as that arc. So with me on that? Because let's put some numbers in here. If this was 40 degrees, that would be 40 degrees. Those angles are the same, so that would be 40 degrees. This is a central angle, so that arc would also be 40 degrees. Okay, that's just putting some real numbers in there. Let's just put it, okay, so that's X. That means that's also X. That same principle, that same little kind of logic, almost like a, ge a little geometry proof there on the fly, was also going to hold true for these two. These are also vertical angles. This 2x, if I view that as like a degree measure, then this would also be 2x. These would be the same, so that would be 2x. And that's a central angle going to that arc, so that's also 2x. Okay, now circumference is the distance all the way around. So x plus 2x plus x plus 2x is going to equal that circumference. So let's write that out. x plus 2x plus x plus 2x, forgot my plus, <laughs> equals the circumference, which we were told is 144 pi. So if I add those together, that is 6x is equal to 144 pi. To solve for x, I need to undo this by, that undo that multiplying by 6 by dividing by 6. So I'm going to divide both sides by 6, and I get x is equal to 24 pi. Now they want to know what is the length of arc QR, and I've said QR is two times X. So I'm going to take that X and I'm going to multiply it by two. 24 pi times two is 48 pi. B is my answer. Be sure to check out my math related merch on Spreadshop or Etsy, links down below. And if you found this helpful or useful in any way, please help me help others like, share, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.